Hey guys, this is Denary Slowest. Welcome to the YouTube page. This is a words worth listening. Um, the video, I'm going, the topic I'm going to touch base on is why women cheat. Um, I got asked this question: Why do you think women cheat? They probably want better dick. The complete honest. Um, if a woman is going to cheat on her man, female, wh whoever the partner may be, they want more. A lot of these guys, um, and I can give my personal experience. I I've been a person who's who've who've incite I, I I've been with them I've been with married women physically and I've been with married women sexually um and I've been with other guys as girls sexually as well um mainly because a lot of these guys are not treating their women in the in a manner of respect in a manner of um excitement and in a manner of keeping them interested in the relationship that they're looking to keep um a lot of these women women want more than just the average Joe. Some women do want the average Joe. Some women don't. But if you want to be, if you want to keep your woman excited to be with you, be innovative. Do something new. Treat her to different restaurants. Take her out. Just wine and dine her. Do things that show that you appreciate her. That you are happy that someone was willing to come inside another woman <laughs> to produce the woman that you're now you're now with. I mean. When I was in a relationship, I was I was just so shocked that someone had gave birth to a person that made me so happy. And you have to give an appreciation to your woman because there's always going to be a guy that's going to think your woman is something else. Um, I had the most remarkable woman I dated back in high school. I felt in my mind. And I felt that way and I expressed it. And when I started expressing, hey, I like this woman because of this, 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 this. She gives me happiness in this manner, in this manner, in this manner. Every guy, all the guys I said that to, were now trying, are now lured to her. Um, they, all the guys, they, people don't want what you want until you want, until you enjoy what you have, and that's a complete fact. No one gives a, no one ever cares about another person until they started giving um, value to themselves and to their situation. And that's when people want to jump into what you have and try to take what you, what you, what you worked for. So if you work to keep a woman, if if a woman's worked to, if, if a man's worked to go for a woman and he's got her, but at a point, at some point in time, he just felt like, hey, I have her. I don't need to do anything else. No, you have to keep doing more because you, when you when you win a prize, I mean, you you want a prize, but if you want to keep that prize, you have to keep giving value to that prize. Now, women cheat in all these different manners because they want. They want excitement. I mean, I know a lot of girls that blame alcohol towards their cheating. I blacked out and I, I woke up and his penis was in my in my mouth and I just I thought it would rude I thought it'd be rude for me to not finish him off. Like no. <laughs> no. And that's actually happened before. Um, not to me personally. I've heard this conversation in a room. I actually walked out and I was like, wow. That's a keeper. She's a keeper. She blacked out and she woke up with a penis in her mouth and she was not rude to take it out. By all means, sweetheart, you are a trooper. But not the person you want to be in a relationship with. Simple. Women cheat. Men cheat. People do cheat. But to overlap all that all that negativity, the positive thing out of cheating, I hope people come into an, uh, an aspect that when you do cheat on someone, you do hurt someone's feelings. Um, you bring in all these insecurities that hopefully weren't there before the relationship. And when you do cheat on someone, um, they lose trust in anyone they want to have trust for. So when, you, when a woman cheats on a man... And when a man cheats on a cheats on a woman, um, the both roles in regards of hurt feelings, insecurities, they overlap. And whenever that, if you cheat on a woman, a man cheats on a woman. A man cheats on a woman. A woman cheats on a man. Relationship falls apart. All the emotions that were brought, all the negative emotions that like that broke that relationship up, will carry into the next relationship. Now, um, Now, for example, a man cheats on a woman, a woman cheats on a man. So I say, hey, a girl goes out, she cheats on her man, doesn't, goes drinking, and does stuff with another man, but doesn't feel comfortable enough to express it to the man that she's in a relationship with. Why would you go about, why would, why would you, well, if you don't feel comfortable in a relationship expressing anything that's negative that's going to happen, you shouldn't be in that relationship. Anything, everything, anything in a relationship is going to go bad. Bad things are going to happen in life. You have to be open to express all the bad things, despite anything. 
truly. Now, women cheat mainly because they're not getting enough in, in, in either in the bedroom. They're not getting enough in regards to the emotions that a man's not willing to express. And women cheat because they want more than the situation they have at hand. Women cheat because they want more. And if you're not the person to give them more, there's always going to be another person that's going to, that's going to be willing to give them more and exceed what you're not doing. Now, you have to have the personality. You have to have more than just your looks. Your looks are going to attract her. Your personality is going to keep her. More guy, a lot. I know a lot of guys who go to the gym who work out their physical appearance, but don't have a personality to even hold the conversation with a snail. Snails are even walking away from these fuckers. So, women cheat because they want more. And guys, this is a personal lesson for yourself. If you want a woman, if you want anything in life, you have to work for it, and you have to keep working for it. Um, you can't just expect uh, for what you work for to be happy for what you work for, and not keep them working for. I mean, a lot of girls get bored in relationships. Um, especially when you're in a marriage, you're with one person for the rest of your life. If you if you worked, if you worked early in her age, if you worked at, at the age of 20 to get this girl to marry her for the rest of your life, and you stop giving a fuck after the age of 30, you're wasting her time and you're wasting your life because she just feels like you're just a person that you were willing to work for her at that time, but you're not willing to work for her throughout time. So, women cheat. Because they want more. Men cheat because they want more. And this is a conversation for both parties. If you want more in life, you have to come to an agreement with that person. I would only hope that to those who want to be in a relationship, you yeah, found the person that you guys both want to strive and achieve the same things as a goal. That's what relationships are for. I'm personally, personally, I'm single because I, I want a lot for myself. I want a lot for my future and I want a lot for my friends. Now, when I find another woman who feels that same way, we're in a relationship. That's where I will... That's the person I'll choose to build a relationship with. But comment below in regards of why you think women cheat. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is Daenerys Lewis and Words Worth Listening. I would love to hear you guys' comments on why you think men, men and women cheat. The videos are going to be posted back to back. So leave a comment below on why you think women cheat, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I do appreciate it.